when I have conversations with players throughout my career, you know, last 10 years, basically, it's like, oh, who's the best player? Oh, well, Kevin's the best player. No one can do what Kevin does. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I feel like um, I feel like the style of play is uh, it's just unique, just, you know, how I approach the game, trying to score. Like, it's just when I I don't force it, that's the thing. So it, it looks natural. You know what's funny? My observation the other night, and again, I, I mean, I'm I'm hyping you up to Knox, and you took 24 shots that night, and I saw the box score after the game. I'm like, Kevin took 24 shots. <laughs> like, I don't know if I took 24 shots, maybe maybe once in my career, and like he, there was not a four shot. I remember there was a fast break in the second half. It was like a two on one. And I'm, you had a head of steam on the defender, and I'm like, oh, Kevin's just going to jump, try to draw a foul, score. And, like, he made the right pass. He threw a bounce pass to the other – I think it was Bruce. He threw a bounce pass to Bruce. Bruce ended up fumbling or whatever. But I'm like, Kevin made the right play. Like, that was my takeaway from that, watching that, yeah. you know, in person. I watch it maybe NBA every night, but, like, in person – you're not looking at your phone. I'm not looking at other box scores. I'm watching the game. And, yeah. like, I, I, that was the whole time. That's what I'm thinking. Like, Kevin just – he plays the game the right way. When did that click for you? Because that, that is not something you had when you were 18, 19 years old. Like, that is something that is developed. That is knowledge <laughs> that gets passed yeah. down year to year. When I got to college, I learned how to watch film. Coach Barnes taught me what to look for when I'm – when I get the ball, and it and it grew from there. Once I got more opportunities to handle the ball out on the perimeter, twenty thirteen, I started watching film, seeing film, seeing things in film a little different. Openings that may happen before I see it, or where a guy should be in the offense, um, you know. And I understood that at any time, like I can raise up and take a shot. So knowing that I got that in my back pocket is fun. Like, all right, you open, like, you got it going tonight, let me see. You know, it's, it's knowing that I can pass first and then score whenever late in the clock if I need to, it keeps my teammates involved. Is there ever a temptation, a little fucking, I don't know if it's a devil on your on your shoulder or a voice in your head that is just like, nah, just shoot over everybody every time down the floor. Like go, like go into God <laughs> no, mode. No, nah, see, a lot of people ask why I don't get 60, 70-point games. This is me on the way to the game. <laughs> shoot 40 <laughs> times. I to break there. it down to people. It's like when I watch these dudes get 60 and 70, it's like the, the, the adjustments don't change from the, from the opposing coach. If I come off a of pick and roll and you want to drop the first play of the game and I switch the shot, you probably going to make an adjustment. So I can't I can't come off and get free looks anymore off a of pick and roll. So if I come off a pin down, if I get a wide if, if if I come off a wide open pin down, what you think your coach is gonna say if I make a three the first quarter, make an adjustment? So it's like it, the little sh it takes a lot for somebody to score big seven fifteen to sixteen free throws wide open three pointers. Like I'm not getting those looks. Your whistle's crazy too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So shooting over two people, it's hard to get 60 <laughs> points, <laughs> 50 points, consist, you know, shooting over two people. So I got to play with adjustments from the opposing coach in game. Like he don't wait till after the game and say, damn, we should have trapped KD right there. He gave us 60. No, nah, it's just, they make adjustments on me. So take the, take the number of points out for a second. I wanted to ask you about the the game five in the Milwaukee series last year, not even game seven. Yeah. Cause that was pretty close to God mode in the playoffs yeah. where they, they knew what was coming every time down. It didn't really matter. Is that a point where it's like, you're in the, you're in the playoffs and the flip switch is just the switch flips. And you're just like, fuck it. I'm going to do what I need to do. I mean, well, in that game, I felt like their whole plan was like, well, Katie can't beat us by himself. So yeah. Let him just go crazy. We're going to lock everybody else up. So they were a little loose on their coverages. Left me one-on-one -on -one sometimes. They planned and dropped the whole game. It was just like, well, I mean, I, was, <laughs> I made 17 of my 23 shots because I just felt like it was a regular season game as far as the coverage on defense. And then they ramped it up a bit after that, but I felt like they underestimated us that game. 